everyone and welcome to namehero.com. In today's video, I want to show you how to change your WordPress URL. This seems to be a more common support request that I see time and time again. And of course, our team's happy to change it for you, but some people want to know how to do it themselves. And, you know, also it's just a good thing to understand about how to change the URL structure inside of WordPress. And there's multiple ways to do it. So in this video tutorial, I'm going to install WordPress in one directory, and then we're going to move it. And I'm going to show you a couple other um, tips and tricks that we use in our support center. So to get started, I just want to sign up for a package fresh. And if you've already done this, you can, of course, skip ahead. But I just want to do things, do everything from the beginning so I can show you as many scenarios as possible. So I'm going to click on web hosting. And of course, we've got our packages. I'm going to use our Plus Cloud, which is probably the most popular um, shared package that we have. Um, the main difference between this and the starter is the Plus Clouds allows for you the ability to host up to six websites, whereas the starter is just one. Um, the Plus Cloud also has two CPU cores and two gigabytes of RAM. The step up from that is the Turbo. And the cool thing about us here at Name Hero is we are all cloud web hosting. So if you need to upgrade to Turbo, you can write inside of our interface and you'll instantly have access to these um, additional CPU cores and RAM. And also with the Turbo, you can host unlimited websites. So just depending on your needs is which one you need to select. And then of course you have the business and you have the starter. So you kind of go to one extreme to the other. Um, but normally people start with one of these in the middle um, and then kind of build off of there. So I'm going to click on Plus Cloud. Um, I'm going to use an existing domain. If you want to register a new domain, it comes free with um, for the first year. So a lot of people choose to do that because you know it saves you about $12.98, so close to $13 in saving if you have a new domain. If you want to transfer over from another registrar, let's say your domain's at GoDaddy or Namecheap or what have you, or even your uh, current web host, you can transfer it in. Um, once again, that transfer fee is free for your first year. And this only adds time. If you've already registered, registered your domain at GoDaddy and let's say you have another year or two left on it, um, this is only going to add time to that domain. You don't lose any time that you've already paid for. But my name is already in my Name Hero account, so I'm going to choose the third option. And today we're going to be using keydiets.com. So we put our domain here, then we put the TLD here. Um, and you can see the free domain registration and transfer um, fee. It's only for .com, .net, .org, .mobi, US, biz, or .co.uk. Um, I know there's tons of TLDs out there nowadays, uh, but we have to pick the ones that we allow free. Um, but these are the most common. So I'm going to click Use. And now we're going to review our pricing. Now, some people are a little confused on our pricing at Name Hero, so I try to explain every opportunity I get. Um, for the biggest discount, so for the price that you see here, um, this is per month based on a 36 month price along with our fast fall sale. So you can see um, this is the breakdown per month without the sale price. And you can see here, discounts apply on checkout. So if you have a coupon code and right now is our fast fall sale, this is what you use to get that price. So um, you can go 12 months, 24 months, or 36 months. You save the most going 36 months. Um, I would say most customers that come into Name Hero, that's what they want to do. Um, this just so they don't have to worry about paying their hosting, but every three years. So we see the majority of our customers like to do that. So we default that as the main option. Um, of course, you know, if you can pay less, why not? Okay, we're well going down here. If you want to add the Drop My Site offsite backups, we have complimentary nightly backups for all accounts that are under 100,000 inodes or 20 gigabytes of space under that. If you want to add more than one night, you can do this here. So let's say you want 30 days of backups, um, five gigabytes of that's $1.99 a month. A lot of people opt into that. So we'll just select that. And then you can upgrade this at any time. You know, if you start using more than five gigabytes, you can always go all the way up to 200 gigabytes if needed. Um, dedicated IP address. If you are using email on your account, you want to select this. If you're using Gmail or um, a third party email provider, then you don't need one of these. But this is the highest level of email deliverability. You don't have to do it, but I just highly recommend it. Continue on. Okay, so now we are at our checkout screen or our confirmation screen. You can see that um, the fast fall sales have been applied, and this is taking $172.51 off the price. I can't guarantee when you watch this video, given this is a how to change your URL in WordPress video, it's going to get quite a few views. So if you're watching during the fall, this is our current sale we have going on. So I'm going to go to checkout. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and fill out all my information to complete the payment, and then I'll resume the video, and I'll show you how to get that URL change in WordPress. 
Okay, once we complete our payment, we have a quick survey at Name Hero. We're always striving for 10 for 10 customer service and care. Uh, if you've enjoyed your experience so far, we certainly appreciate all five stars. Um, if you do decide to do that, it gives you an opportunity to share your experience with others. Um, you know, in a review-based world or a review-based economy, everyone wants to know the review before they sign up. I get it. You know, if I go to Walmart or Target or even out to eat, I'm always Googling the place to look at the reviews. Um, so we would appreciate if you would uh, kind of pay it forward and help the other um, person that might be interested in Name Hero. Um, if you would like us to follow up with you, you can enter your name and your email auto pops. Um, it's not for marketing. This is just so we can follow up on your review. Uh, if you are not ready yet and you say, no, I, you know, I don't know about Name Hero yet. I just got going. You can just hit the X and you don't have to fill it out. It's just we, you know, we're always wanting to improve. So we give you the opportunity if you so wish to do so. Okay, so I'm going to continue to the client area. Um, I'm going to navigate to cloud web hosting and I got the plus cloud package. So the first thing I need to do is set my name servers. So as I said, I selected option three. So I've got to manually change my name servers. If you register a new domain, we automatically do this. If you transfer it, we'll automatically do it as well. So I need to go to key diets and we're going to modify those name servers. And again, if you decided to keep your domain with GoDaddy or Namecheap, you need to log into that interface and change the name servers there. So under manage, I'm going to click name servers and I need to change them to match these here. So I'm going to go to this and copy and then paste this in here. And then I'm going to paste this one in here. And this is going to be NS8. So basically, I need to make sure my name servers for key diets match the name servers of my hosting. That's what connects everything up. Change name servers. Okay, now once you do this, there's a period called DNS propagation. If you're new to web hosting, this basically just means it takes some time for the domain to connect to the hosting. Normally happens within the hour, especially in the United States. If you're based in other countries, it might take a little bit longer because this is actually depending on your ISP, your internet service provider. Um, if it's a new domain, it happens even faster. But if it's an existing domain, it may take a little bit of time. I always recommend customers, if it's not immediate, don't get concerned. You know, go grab some coffee, go chill out for a little bit, and then come back to it. Um, you know, if you really want to make sure it's propagated, check it again in 24 hours. But most of the time, it happens within an hour or even shorter than that. I'm going to go back to my package now, and I'm going to install WordPress from scratch. So we'll, we'll show you that method, and then we'll go to the others afterwards. So under Actions, I'm going to log into cPanel. cPanel is the control panel that we use here at Name Hero. It's probably the most well-known and widely used control panel in the entire world. That's why we use cPanel. Um, I attend the cPanel conference every year. Uh, this year was in Houston in their hometown, and um, it's really an amazing group of people, an amazing company. So that's who we've chosen to partner with here at Name Hero, and if you've had web hosting in the past, it's highly likely that you've used cPanel before. But we want to go down and we want to automatically install WordPress. We don't want to have to upload files or anything like that. So we're going to go down here to the bottom and click on WordPress. It's under Softaculous Apps Installer. Softaculous is a one-click install application. We'll click WordPress. Click Install Now. And we are going to install WordPress in the subfolder WP. So we're just going to say we do. And then I'm going to show you how to move it out of WP. So we're just going to leave everything default and go down here. Now, this is bad. We don't want to use admin and pass. Um, I just recently filmed a security video on our blog at Name Hero and on our YouTube channel about why this is such a bad idea. If you ever use admin and pass, you're just asking for it. So we are going to change the username. Um, I'm going to change it just to key diets one, and I'm going to use this handy password generator. I'm going to copy it. This way it gets a strong one here. You know what? You want it to say strong here. If it's saying weak, then you're just asking for it. Um, you know, there's bad people out there, so you want to make sure you make this as strong as possible. All right, I'm going to leave all these other options default. If you want to have a limit login attempts or any advanced options, you can do that, but I just recommend leaving everything default for a fresh copy. We have some free themes in here. You can search through them. You can kind of use this toggle switch here to go through them. If you want a, you know, a professional design, you might have a theme already. It's so it's just up to you. I know some beginners, they like to just pick one of these and go on about it, but um, other people have their own theme. I'm just going to click installed to use the basic um, default WordPress theme. Okay, so now we've installed WordPress. So if I go to my URL here, you can see WordPress is installed in slash WP. So if I go to keydiets.com, 
I don't see WordPress. I see the subfolder. So this is where a lot of people get confused. You know, they're like, well, I didn't want it there. I wanted it in the root domain. And that's because when we went to install it, we left it in WP. So I'm going to show you how to change that. So let's, um, let me grab this window here and I'm just going to pull this over to another window. So I've got my username and password in there for the admin area. Key diets one and we're going to change it we're going to put it in so when we go to keydiets.com that we see wordpress in the root we see wordpress here and we do not see it in the subfolder I apologize for my iphone beeping um doesn't always come off as i want it to anyways so we're going to move this so let's go back to our client area let's go back to cpanel and we're going to go to file manager and we're going to go into the public HTML. This is where all the files live. And so you can see we're now logged in to where we can see this in the back end. Um, so WordPress is in WP. So we need to change that. So what we want to do is take all these folders and files, um, click here at the top, hold down shift, and it selects them all. So you can see all these files are selected. And then we want to simply grab them here and drag them into public HTML. So once again, we're just in here. We're going to click here to where it gets blue, hold down shift, go down to the bottom. And then we just want to click over here, kind of over here and, and drag it to public HTML. So now if we go to public HTML, let's see, we missed a couple. So once again, we're going to hold shift and make sure we drag them all out, out of there. So now in public HTML, we're seeing all our files. So we've now changed the location. Now, if I go refresh this, you can see I'm seeing this here, but if I click my links, they're gonna be messed up because it's still got that WP. So we have to actually change it in the database. So this is simple, just kind of bear with me a second here. Go back to cPanel and we wanna type in PHP and we'll go to PHP My Admin. And now we'll find the database. If you have more than one, you'll have them here. But we want to go into this database here. Go to the options table and click browse. And you can see we have two fields here, site URL and home. See the slash WP? We want to change that. So we're just going to double click on it. And we're going to delete that WP. And then click out. It automatically saves. We're going to go to home, delete that, and it saves. So now keydiets.com is the root. And if we go back to key diets and refresh it, now our URLs will work. Well, we have to regenerate our, I'm sorry, we have to regenerate our HT access file. So again, this is easy. So now we're going to go to slash WP dash admin. This is our admin area. Um, our secure certificate has not yet generated, which it will. This typically generates within 24 hours, but let me go show you how to do that real quick. So we'll get that. Type in SSL, SSL TSL status. You can see we're getting a red lock. We're not getting in the green ones that we want. So we'll click all, run auto SSL. So we're going to let that go ahead and run. In the meantime, we're just going to go to advance and proceed, advance and proceed to our admin area. Um, so we can change this URL while that secure certificate generates. So I'm going to use that username and password that I gave it when we signed up. So key diets one password. I'm going to paste that in, click log in and I've got the wrong one somehow. Let's just go here, copy it again, key diets one and we've got an error. So let's go look at that real quick. Let's see and send the user here, so key diets one, I want to edit our password. So this is not uncommon for us to get locked out of here, so I'm gonna get that password put in there. Go, now let's do it. And all I did was just hard reset that password and I could have just fat fingered it, of course. Okay, so now I'm in the dashboard. I'm going to go to settings and reading I'm sorry, setting and permalinks. And so I look at here, these, this is my URL structure. I'm just going to click custom structure and click save. And this just regenerates the HT access file. So now when I go to key diets, and I can just click on it through here, key diets, and I click on a URL, you can see it works now. I'm not getting the 404. So basically I moved the files, I modified my database, and then I regenerated that HT access file. And now I'm good, it's out of slash WP, and I can go about my business. Now there's one final step, if you, if you use the Softaculous app installer, 
when you go to the home page and you click on installations, you can see it still thinks that WordPress is installed in slash WP. So we want to change that. So we're going to click the pencil icon and we're just going to remove the WP and we're going to remove the WP from here. This is so Softaculous knows the new location. Save. And now we can see that it is correct. It was recently edited and you know we're all correct here. So now Softaculous knows where WordPress is and you've successfully um, changed where WordPress is located. So again, it's just a couple of steps is one, move the files over and then change the URL in the database. Now it is possible to install WordPress in a in slash WP and then have it show up in the file structure. But by far, this is the easiest and most simple way to do this is just to move all the files over uh, to modify the, the URL inside of your database and to, and to regenerate the HT access file. Um, if we go to general now, we can go over here and you can edit the URL here, but a lot of times once you start messing with this, then you can't even get into your WP admin. So that's why it's so important that we do it inside of the database versus in trying to do it inside of this user interface here. Um, it's kind of a sure, sure way to make sure that it works. Now we can check on that secure certificate. You can see now we're getting the green box here. So now if we refresh it, let's go back into, let's go back to here. And we can change this. Actually, we can change it in here to HTTPS, HTTPS, and save changes. And now it's going to ask us to log back in again. So key diets one and our password here. And now we've got the secure. We might have to do a hard refresh to get the browser to not say secure. So we're just going to go in here and hard refresh it. You know, our browser still not picking it up, but it will because the secure certificate is installed. So just since I advanced and proceeded, it's still not saying not secure, but new visitors will get the um, secure connection um, on there. And this should update automatically within the next hour and you'll have your secure certificate because we can verify it right inside a cPanel that the domain is validated and we see this nice green lock, which is what we want. Um, and again, this will automatically generate for you. I just forced it because since it was, I just signed up for the account, it had not had time to automatically run yet. Normally happens we tell customers within 24 hours, most of the time even sooner because it's just got to check that DNS. But of course you can force it as well. But that's the easiest way to change your WordPress URL and once again, if you um, have trouble looking for it, it's you have to go into the database. So from cPanel, you go to PHP My Admin, click it here. You look for the database that you're using. In my case, I just have one, so it's easy. I click on it, and it's in the Options table. I click Browse, and then I can just edit it right here. I just click in here, double click, edit however I want it, double click here, edit however I want it, and then click out and it automatically saves. You don't have to do anything else. So just some people are scared of PHP My Admin. PHP My Admin's a really easy to use program regardless of your experience level. And as long as your files are matched up, then this will change without an issue. You can move WordPress location. And again, you use the file manager to move those files. It's just drag and drop stuff. You're not having to FTP in and move stuff around and it um, stays pretty simple. So let us know if if you have any questions, if you need our team to move your WordPress location, if you get hung up on any of these steps or get confused, just let us know. We'd be more than happy to go in and help you out. But thanks so much for using us here at Name Hero. We certainly do appreciate um, your business. We appreciate providing freaky fast web hosting, as we call it, to WordPress. Um, you know, we've optimized our platform specifically for WordPress and other similar um, content management platforms. Um, you know, we also pride ourselves in that 99.9% .9 uptime. We really strive for that. 100%, which I believe we hit most of the time um, because we know how important it is to keep your website safe, secure, and online. So if you have any questions, feel free to let us know. We'd be more than happy to answer those and help you out. So thanks for using namehero.com.